Hey guys, so we just recently moved into Aries season and that is a prime time of the year for for your love situations, whether it's bad or good. Okay, so I laid out a few cards from three different decks here. The star came out a couple of times. Uh, the ten of swords and the tower came out. So that is an ending. That is a big end. Okay, let me start at the beginning here with the first deck. So it looks like you might be going straight into something that's going to bring you what you deserve. But it looks like it does, yes, it requires walking away, leaving something in the past, and it's an ending. It's, there's something ending, and there's a new beginning where you're going to be getting along better with other people. If this is a work situation, you are getting ready to go into something. The new path you're getting ready to take is going to bring you more fulfillment with people like you're going to get more recognition at this job or you're going to get along better you know you're going to work better with these people if it's a relationship you're getting ready to go into uh, again you're just going to get along better with their friends and family and more recognition and teamwork and stuff like that for some of you some of you could be seeing an Aries actually we're in Aries season I think some of you could actually be with an Aries or another fire sign so there's a couple of stories here in romance. I think some of you are, okay, so I think some of you could experience a tower moment, and I think you you know it's going to happen, because it, it almost looks like all the cards that led up to that tower was just a lot of heaviness, a lot of heaviness, trying to make things work, trying to push it, trying to make things work. There's a situation here also where there's a masculine who is a little bit unsure about his woman. He he, he may be kind of wealthy and he's kind of like, it almost looks like he's either not really wanting to share his money or he's kind of halfway hiding it. It's almost like he, he knows, everyone knows he has money, but he doesn't want to show it or something. And he's, yeah, he's, he could be very humble too. You know, just one of those people. But it, I almost get a feeling like he's like, no, I'm not going to spend this on you. Or no, I'm I'm not going to, I'm, I'm going to pretend I don't have as much. Or something like that. He's trying to hide his money. Or hide the fact that he has enough to spend or something like that. Some of you, if you're on the verge of a breakup, I get a feeling of wanting just this one last time this one last dance this one last kiss let's just get together one more time before before we call it quits so i have a feeling about that too on the other hand there could be some of you where things are really exciting someone has a blindfold here on there could be a little something you don't see about this this partner this emperor who um i mentioned aries that's one of the main masculines in this is the Emperor and the King of Pentacles. Okay, so let's get into these people. All these different people came out in this other deck, and I laid out some cards to verify it. Let me just tell a little story here. We have a guy here that, uh, that he's on the Hermit card, but this whole card just tells me something. Like, he's a smoker. He looks like he has long hair. He's probably to himself a lot. He's sitting on the streets. He, um, There's something about this guy. He's climbing the ladder. He's halfway to this completion in his life. I don't know who this guy is in your life or if it's anyone at all. But whoever this guy is, it's kind of quiet, kind of to himself. Might be a smoker. Could even be a drinker. But could even be a homeless guy, the way that the card looks. That's what it looks like. But but it's like he's, he's halfway there, wherever he is in life or whatever path he's on right now is about to be completed he's getting ready there's something important about this guy then we have a woman who oh he, she might kind of young kind of middle age or she might be like around 30 up to about 45 or somewhere in there there's something with this woman she's she's very earthy she could be a teacher of some kind this could be a daycare teacher a kindergarten teacher um someone at church there's church here with this, surrounded by this woman. The star card came out by her. So that was one of the star cards. There's another woman here too that 
is older though. This could be a mother figure, some kind of older mother, grandmother, or great aunt or some star card came out by her too. This woman is very intuitive. She's very, I think she is, the feeling I get with the cards and her and everything is she's both very wise and very intuitive. intuitive. So the message I had a feeling to say about this woman is, is if this woman is giving you advice or or think something, like has an opinion, like, um, no, I don't get a good feeling about that person or this person, or um, no, I don't, I really don't think this is a good idea. You shouldn't do that. You know, think about it. I feel like you should listen to this older woman, whoever she is, whether it's a mom or a grandma or, or someone else's mom or something. Okay, there's this other guy who still kind of looks like a loner. He appears, he appears smart to himself. He may stay up late at night or sit in a dark room. He's on his devices a lot, like his phone, gaming, computers. There's something about this guy that has to do with money, good money, new money, opportunities. I don't know if maybe some of you have been talking to someone that's online, communicating online through the internet that, that is like offering you a job or something, or it has something to do with money. Maybe you've met someone who you're making a deal with, going in partnership with or something. But whoever this guy is, is is also kind of quiet, may, may stay up late, is on his computer a lot. It has something to do with money and good money and like business or something, business deals. Hmm. Um... So, uh, let's go back to this King of Pentacles guy. I have a feeling this guy has, I think he's growing weary. It has something to do with, it has something to do with his finances or trying to keep that to himself. He may have headaches a lot. He may be just carrying a heavy burden in general, but the tower comes after all these uh, grow and weary cards and something's going to happen. I think it's going to be big. For some of you, you could experience, I, I have a feeling it's leading up to something. It's leading up to this tower moment. I think some, some of you, if you're in that situation where things feel like they're not going good, I think some of you kind of, kind of know what's going to happen. And then there was the people in the cards where I, I just got a feeling of let's have one last dance, one last romp, whatever, you know, one last thing before we tell each other goodbye. And that may or may not be a bad thing, whatever this card, it, it could be that maybe some of you are moving. Maybe that was in the other set of cards here where you're going down this new path, maybe, you know, one little part of your life is ending and then something's getting ready to to happen maybe you have to move the chariot was in that one so yeah it could be that too let's just get together one more time before we have to say goodbye so libra that's about it for now and i will see you next time